Hi there, today we're going to create five useful templates using the checkboxes on Google Sheets. The first idea is to create a to-do list. Once we click on the checkbox, there will be a strike through through the item. The second idea is a project task list. We can then add a filter that allows us to filter, for example, for the priority. So let's say we just want high priority items, we can filter it and press OK. The next idea is a homework checker. We can check student homework in the weeks within the term. Next, we have a social media checklist that allows you to see which platforms you're going to cross post an item. Lastly, we have a habit tracker that allows you to track multiple habits throughout the year. Google checkboxes are fun and dynamic. I like how you can change the colors and you can interact with them in different ways. If you'd like to download a copy of this template, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Follow on with this tutorial to learn how you can create all of these different templates. Make sure you hit the like button and hit the subscribe button to stay updated with new videos. So let's get started. The first template that we're going to be creating is a to-do list. So let's go ahead and write the title. We'll then go and select the text and change the font size and the font. Next, we can go and add a background there. So we'll select some cells, press fill color, and let's change it to blue. We can then go and add some checkboxes, hit insert, and we've got checkboxes here. You can just hover over the bottom right corner and drag down to add more checkboxes. I'm just going to resize this cell as well, and maybe this one as well. Let's go and change the color of the checkboxes by selecting text color and we'll select a blue color. We can also go and highlight the cells to create some grid lines. I'm just going to add the outer border and then on the right cells, I'm going to also add the horizontal borders. So let's add an activity, we'll write exercise, okay. If you like, you can also add a strike through once the checkbox has been selected. To do this, we'll just go and highlight our cells here on the right. We'll press format and hit conditional formatting. I'm just going to move this for a moment. The first thing to do is we're going to hit the format rules and select custom formula. To begin the formula, just type the equal sign and we're going to refer to this cell here, which is B3. We want to do an absolute reference for the column of B because the checkboxes are all in this column. But we want to make sure that when the next row is selected, then the strike through appears in the next row. So we're going to do an absolute reference, which is the dollar sign for the column of B. However, we're going to do a relative reference for the row of three. Then we're going to say when this equals to true, we are going to do a strike through. Equals to true is saying once the checkbox has been selected. If you like, you can also add a fill color and I'm going to add a light blue. Let's press done and let's check that this works. So let's hit the checkbox here for exercise and we've got a strike through and we've got a shade of blue as well. This should work for all of these cells as well. That's our to-do list finished. You can go ahead and press view and you can also delete the grid lines so you just see the to-do list. If you like, you can also go and print this off. The second template is going to be a project task list. We just need to create some headings. The first heading is task, then we'll have priority, in progress, and lastly, completed. Let's go ahead and create some borders. So let's select some cells, hit borders, and press on all borders. We'll then go ahead and select the headings and change the font size as well as the font. We can adjust any of these cells if we'd like to. I'm also going to change the background color to black. 
as well as the text color to white. Now let's go ahead and add some checkboxes. Press insert and we've got checkboxes there. We can then go ahead and copy that into all of the cells that we want it to be in. Again, you can go ahead and change the color so we can select the cells in progress and we can change the text color to let's say an orange color and completed can be changed to let's say a green color. Okay, so that's what it looks like when it's checked and this is unchecked. You can also do priorities. So let's say that you've got high priority items such as um, completing an assignment. You can go and also do a text wrap as well. So back to format, we can go text wrap and we'll do wrap. Select the cells and we can go and change the font as well. If you like, you can also add some color. So we can do a fill color for our high priority item, which is red. And similarly, we can do, let's say a low priority item in maybe a green color. Once you complete an item, you can go ahead and select completed. Let's go ahead and add a filter. So select the headings, click on create a filter. We can then go and filter the items. The third template is going to be a homework tracker. So let's add some headings. We'll first have student, and let's say it's term one, and that there are 10 weeks within the term. We just need to add a couple and then hover over the bottom right corner and drag it along so that you reach 10. Let's see, okay. And we'll just go and select the letters on the top and hover over the column width and drag it down so that you can see all of the weeks together. We'll then go and merge the cells here so that term one is all of the weeks there. We'll go to format, merge cells and merge all. Let's go and make it sit in the middle and you can start to add some colors. So let's say that you want to have this as a light blue color and you can also merge that as well. So format, merge cells and merge all. And you can type some student names. So let's say you've got James here. And for all of the students, we want to have the checkboxes. So we'll go and insert checkbox. Let's go and change the color as well. So that's in the text color and we'll change it to blue. You can then go and do the same thing with term two by copying and pasting. And you can go and change the colors if you like. So let's select this again. That's fill color, let's do a green. And for the check boxes, you're going to have to do the text color. If you like, you can also go and change the font as well. Let's say you're using one of my templates and that you've got more weeks than just 10 weeks. Simply go and select a couple of the columns and go right click and insert cells to the right. You can then go and add a couple weeks. So let's go and drag this out. So we've got 11, 12, 13. And also for the heading here, we can go and merge that again. So that's in format and merge cells. Let's go and change the background color for the student heading. So let's change it to black and the font color is white. We can also go and freeze the first column here, go to view, and we want to freeze the first column. If you freeze the first column, you can go anywhere towards the right of your spreadsheet and you'll still be able to see the first column. The next template is a social media checklist to ensure that you're cross posting on all your platforms. Let's start with the headings. The first heading may be activity and we can then go ahead and list all of the social media platforms. So let's say you've got an Instagram, Twitter, 
blog, Facebook, and TikTok, let's say. We can go and create a table by adding in some borders. Let's go and change the heading by changing the size as well as the font. And we can use a fill color so that everything stands out. You can also go and make your headings a lot more colorful. So let's say we want Instagram to be a light pink color. Twitter is a light green color. Blog, Facebook, and TikTok. Okay. Then when you add the checklist, you can also go and mimic those colors. So let's go to insert and we'll add all the checkboxes. So we'll highlight the checkboxes in the Instagram column and we can choose the text color, let's say this reddish color or pinkish color. The Twitter, we can do green. The blog is blue. Facebook is another pink color. And for TikTok, we've got a peach color. This looks quite nice when you've selected some of the cells. The final template is going to be a habit tracker for the entire year. The first heading is going to be habit, and then we're going to list all of the days in January. We just need to write one, two, and three, and then let Google Sheets do its work. The final template is going to be a habit tracker for the entire year. The first heading is going to be habit, and then we're going to list all of the days in January. We just need to write one, two, and three, and then let Google Sheets do its work. If we run out of space like here, what we're going to do is we're going to select all the letters on the top, right click and insert more cells. We can then go and add a couple more numbers to reach 31. Once we're done, again, select the letters at the top and we're going to make the columns a little bit narrower. We can then go ahead and select the heading for January and merge the cells. Let's go and select the top. We can go and add some fill color, center align the text, and we can also go and change the font color. We can also merge the cells for habit. And might just fold that as well. Okay. Let's go and add some checkboxes by hitting insert and we'll do checkbox. We can make the checkboxes a little bit smaller so they fit into the cells. So we can do 10. If you like, you can also go and change the color of the text boxes by clicking on text color and selecting a blue color. Let's say that you've got a habit that you want to improve upon. For example, going to the gym, you can type that in. And on the days that you do go to the gym, you'll just select the cells. We can go and copy this for February. Go ahead and select the letters at the top and we're going to make the columns a little bit narrower again. You can then go ahead and change the fill color and the colors of the checkboxes. Thank you for watching this video. Comment below which template was your favorite template and why. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button to stay updated with new videos. Until next time, see you later and have a good day. Bye.